letter to anyone. I've been so focused on finding happiness, I forgot to be happy. Never do I sit back and regale myself with facts of true happiness. Or maybe I do. Maybe the fact that I constantly search and try so hard to understand the depths of happiness, I completely walk past it. I have often sat in usually a drunken or in some way, shape or form intoxicated state. Why the fuck are you happy? Why do I, when I am happy, in a calm that is so often hard to come by, do I sit and obsess over the fact that I am genuinely content and happy? These periods are obviously short-lived. I go over and over every detail of what I said, of what you said, of what Jordan Gandal or any of my other primary school associates said daily and constantly. Until I take some sort of release. And not just a release, the quickest and most destructive one I can find. Unfortunately, I see people who have very similar minds like mine putting them to far better use. Problem solvers, great artists, beautiful speakers who I'm sure, in their own way, slightly obsess of a minor detail. I'm not professing to be a genius or someone who has a beautiful mind. All I really want to do is maybe give somebody else a chance to have a look inside. I am not unique. downs come so hard and so fast I have very little time to just sit and be. I get very up and I need to speak, tell somebody about what I'm trying to eat, what I'm trying to digest all at once. I have a million ideas and all of them are going to happen and I'm pretty sure they're going to happen this afternoon. As long as I focus. Right, okay. Plan one. Learn to play the guitar. 15 minutes later, plan to read an entire book. 15 minutes later, plan three, write something beautiful. 15 minutes later, plan four, draw whatever your mind shows you. 15 minutes later, stop. So for one hour, that one beautiful, crazy, manic hour, I had complete and utter willingness to conquer everything I've ever wanted. But now I'm back. Maybe I talked too much to someone about ideas I probably knew I wasn't going to achieve. Even though at the time they seemed so real, I was already living them. And now the great sadness that seems to envelop and control me has control once again. I'll tell you something. Now, it's a secret, but I quite like the sadness. A great friend and companion of mine once said, and I quote, I miss the comfort in being sad. Kurt Donald Gabang. He was right. He was right. There is a comfort in being sad. While being in much discomfort, you are also relatively taken out of the real world. You no longer have to worry about consequence or doing anything, really. I'm not going to live my life in comfort. I'm going to step back, sit, relax, and feel everything the world brings me. A letter to anyone. Signed, Mr. 
Mat.